In September, our Four on Your Side team caught a state lawmaker ripping off taxpayers while taking trips out of state. Now, another lawmaker is introducing a bill to make sure that doesn't happen again. Our investigator, Gotti Schwartz, broke this story. He is in Santa Fe with how the law could soon change. Here at the Roundhouse, sometimes lawmakers have to put it down in black and white to make sure certain elected officials don't try to take advantage of taxpayers. This does okay. not look good at all. No, I know. Ray Begay, the man who double billed taxpayers for trips that didn't cost him a cent. We shouldn't be um, paying people for stuff they're getting for free. But we did pay Ray Begay for trips he took for free. When our stories first aired, Begay told us he drove his personal vehicle and collected money for mileage. You took your Dodge Neon. Yes. But receipts proved that he took a rental car, which was paid for by an out-of-state conference. You didn't pay for this rental car, and yet you billed the state for it. Yeah, because I took... Now I'm trying to recollect. I think what happened was I did take the rental car. Same goes for his food and his hotels, all free for him while he continued to bill the citizens of New Mexico. I'm telling you right now, this, this looks like you build and then build again. You build the state for something that was free. I'll look into it. I'll see what the discrepancy is. Okay. So but you're saying that there's no discrepancy no, on your part? Not in my mind, no. After our story aired, voters booted Begay out of office in a landslide. And one state lawmaker is now introducing a bill to make sure this type of nickel and diming of taxpayers doesn't happen again. It became clear, thanks to your story, that uh, some elected officials were abusing the, the mileage and per diem statute, so uh, this fixes the problem. As for criminal charges against Begay, the Attorney General's office is declining to prosecute the case, saying they didn't find enough evidence that Begay did anything wrong. We have requested their investigative report under the state's open records laws. They have refused to turn it over, and we're going to keep pushing for answers. For four on your side, Gotti Schwartz, KOBI Witness News 4.